Here we go. I got two on me. That's okay. Big debuff. Big debuff. Big debuff. Big debuff. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. Finish. Good shit. He's rooted. He's rooted. Finish. Good shit. Okay. Debuff. Big debuff. Big debuff. Healer. On the healer. Trying to get you. Trying to get you. Stun. I got big red. Big red. Kill. Nice. He's rooted. He's rooted. Finish. On you. On you. Oh no. Maybe that too. Nice vids, Jetty. Hi. Cool. Let's give this guy some love. What's going on, gamers? It's Jetty. Um, so I've been doing a lot of farming uh, this past month uh, with my PvP flag turned on, and um, one of the side effects is that you actually get to do a lot of world PvP. Um, so I got a couple clips for you guys today, um, and I'll do my best to uh, explain the fights as they happen. So for um, IG Firestaff, this is actually uh, one of the hardest fights um, that you can find yourself out there on the world. Um, yeah, they have a lot of bursts, they have a lot of control as you guys see here, they have a lot of roots, slows and whatnot. It's, it's a pretty uh, complete uh, build. Um, so what you have to do, um, or what I did, was we had to feel each other out for a couple of minutes uh, before the fight came to a conclusion. We studied each other's patterns, and what I did find out was that he was using his uh, Ice Storm and just moving around it. Um, so that's one of the things that you guys see here that I'm trying to evade as well as the uh, uh, Ice Shower. So just stay away from it, wait for him to change to the Fire Staff, because that's when he has the less mobility. Uh, stop him right here on the uh, on his burnout with my stun and then just you know just stay on him there you go excellent job closing the gap with the feral rush follow that up with a skewer and uh, really good job man so there you have it he says good fight and a good fight indeed um, so now we have a 2v1 um, I was actually fighting the bruiser first fought him a couple times beat him and so he brought in his friend um, so now we find ourselves in a 2v1 situation uh, what you have to do is, you know, again, avoid the Warhammer Great Axe, it's slow slow abilities, they're very easy to telegraph, have to stay on the range, uh, whenever he changes to uh, the flamethrower, that's when you um, go ahead and try to pop your burst, your debuffs, um, and just use your uh, gap closing abilities. Uh, so here we go, we have a nice feral rush, we stay on top of him, we finish him with a nice light attack. Now we, all we have to do is just take care of the bruiser. Um, <laughs> okay, so we do we do a little bit of uh, disrespect here by grabbing the, the fibers, um, apply the debuffs, um, just follow it up with a couple of light attacks, a stun, beautiful into a feral rush. You know, we smell blood, and when you smell blood, it's very difficult for enemies to get away from you. Um, you have a lot of ways to close the gap, um, and so that's what we do here. We just go ahead and finish him with a couple of light attacks into a skewer. Um, so I actually waited a couple minutes, and I continue farming. And then I found myself into, again, another 2v1 situation. It looks like it's the same guys. Um, and here comes a third. This guy's bringing his whole company to fight me. I mean, he doesn't want to let go. It's pretty toxic, man. Pretty toxic. So we have two bruisers, one range. It seems like the bruiser, uh, one of the bruisers is, is already low. He is trying to get away. I smell the blood. I go for the kill. Um, all right. So we just got to go ahead and secure the kill. And we, this is basically the same situation that we were on early. We know that the range is the guy to kill. Um, so we just go ahead, he's using the frame flamethrower, we go and we apply some debuffs um, and we just, you know, use our close uh, 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 gap closing abilities to stay on top of him. Uh, we, we get a little heal, he does a burnout, we just go ahead and chase, miss the skewer, he does a flamethrower, this is a per perfect opportunity for me to start laying down some abilities. Nice feral rush, he is in big trouble, he's in big trouble, very easy to um, evade the um, abilities from the um, a bruiser he does land a nice grab well uh, but again you know it's very easy for me to, to get away I continue my chase I smell the blood this guy does not want it but it is too late for him already nice skewer he does oh look at that beautiful beautiful feral rush we close the gap we get the kill and um, yeah two of these guys are down and at this point you know I just I just want to 
come up top and be the better man. Uh, let this guy know that, you know, we shouldn't really pursue this and fight all night. Um, so I just kind of like tell him to um, stop the fight here. You know, we could go all night, but let's just leave it there. Let's be, let's make peace. Let's be friends. And um, he does end up agreeing with me and I get to continue my farming. Um, so we have a quick fight here. Sometimes you just got to be ready to anticipate their abilities. You got to chase the enemy. This is exactly what I'm doing here. I anticipate his throw, his sweep, and then he does land a kick, but I get my berserk, I get out of it, and I continue the chase. And sometimes this is what you got to do. You can't let your enemy think exactly how he's going to counter you, and then you just, you know, you have a counter for every of his abilities and you continue the chase, you continue the pressure, you get the kill. Alright guys, um, I think that is it for the day. I'm just going to leave you guys um, with this last clip. Uh, this is very similar to the first one. You know, sometimes you just got to study people's patterns. Um, you got to get a feel for the battle. You know, sometimes you got to get a little bit of a beating in order for you to understand what's the best way to get the kill on your enemy. Um, and that's exactly what happened here. Anyways, guys, um, if you guys like this type of content, if you guys want to continue to support uh, my channel, please drop a like, subscribe, and leave comments. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so, so much for the support and the love. Much love to you guys. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys again on my next video. Peace.